So here is a quick modification that I've added to my cold steel SRK sheath. This is a Maxpedition pocket organizer pouch. I'm using the molly panels on the back of the sheath. Those are malice clips. And the malice clips had holes wide enough on the back of them that I could use the rivets that came with the SRK sheath and a couple of spare ones to attach them to the front of the sheath which then they would slip through the molly panels on the back of the Maxpedition pouch. Uh, this was a really nice bushcraft carry kit. Um, it seemed that riding on the belt, if I had a long shirt or a jacket, the jacket or long shirt would cover the handle of the SRK, and then all you see, would see dangling down instead of a sheath was the Maxpedition pocket. So it was a nice way to carry a fixed blade out on a hiking trail or out in the woods bushcrafting and you basically wouldn't look too menacing if someone was to walk onto you when you had this either on your backpack or on your hip. And I did speed up the footage here because it would have been about 14 minutes or so and I didn't want to bore you guys. And the only bad thing about the mouse clips I would say is you do need to have a very accurate and precise sharp tool to lift up the tabs to slip out the malice clip sleeves. <coughs> now the SRK itself I've been very happy with. Uh, the hollow grind, some people say they were having problems with them of chipping out or having the tip break off, but I believe they got this SK5 SRK from one of the first batches that it was made and I've never had a problem with this. It's been batoning a lot. It has survived throwing and chopping and it just it keeps a really nice edge. The only other modification to the SRK itself that I've made was I got a file and touched up the spine to remove the thick coating of paint that it came with to protect it from ox oxidization and I, it just uh, sharpened up that spine so it could throw ferro rods. So You'll see it later in the video, but I do have a small container full of extra rivets, screws, and pocket clip screws, and excess hardware. And now this sheath does fit the SE5 tin holder, and along with my kind of crude homemade Kydex ferro rod sheath for an Exotac ferro rod with a 5 16 inch ferro rod striker. So, on the top side of the sheath, I had to use an extra long uh, female receiving end rivet to be able to go through the rubber, the rubber tubing, get that, that would basically have it settle on the kydex sheath for the ferro rod so that it would stay in place. And then it would be tall enough that it would poke through both of those holes and be received into the SE5 tin holder. And the SE5 tin holder itself, when you attach it to uh, this size SecureX sheath and the rivets, you would have to kind of squeeze the bottom together. Like you would have to s kind of squeeze the area where it receives the rivets towards each other so that it fit, uh, so that it would fit a little more tightly and accurately into the rivets but the material would still stretch and fit the regular full-size Altoids tins, even when it is stretched. As you can see here on the video, that's when I decided to take out the regular rivet and replace it with the longer sized one. And kind of the general contents inside my Altoids tins, I have uh, several of them left around in different bags, 